We're checking out the latest and greatest in gaming monitors from MSI. Holy cow, the specification list on this thing. This is a 360 hertz G-Sync monitor. It's called the NX G253R, and it has eSports in mind. Look at the back of this thing. G-Sync 360, trademark, NVIDIA. This one is 24.5 inches, a very popular size for gamers. If you get a monitor that's too big, sitting at a particular distance, Distance, you may have to have uh, more head movement in order to see the entirety of the display. If you care about competitiveness, that could be a disadvantage. This, for the competitive types that are looking for that edge, uh, this is what you're gonna be looking at. Rapid IPS, 360 hertz, one millisecond response time, and of course that RGB LED lighting. It has 400 nits of brightness, 1000 to one contrast ratio, and it is 1080p, obviously for a gaming monitor that tends to be the target. All right, now over here, we have some different models. So we kicked it off with kind of the most aggressive and intense 360 Hertz version, which is the one we have over here. Now, if I do flip it down for a moment, HDMI times two, there's a display port over there, a headphone output, your barrel style connector for power, and then there's an upstream USB, but there's also another model, different price point. This is the 240 Hertz, and this one's called the Optics Mag 251 RX. So this one has the MSI logo, gaming and esports written on the back. Same joystick on the back, gives you that nice kind of uh, mechanical input for dealing with your menus and such. On this guy, we have display port first, uh, two HDMIs. This one has a type C connect, a headphone jack as well, power, and another upstream USB. You have the upstream USB because there's a built-in USB hub. So we have three USB A ports on the side, which are gonna be nice for peripherals, obviously. So this one is also 24.5 inches. And that type C port on the optics model is gonna be capable of displaying video as well. So if you wanna connect a laptop that can output over type C, and then you can have that single style connector. So that's a nice little option over there. I like that. This is the one that that Kirk likes. He likes optics. I need 360 hertz. Need it! This holiday season. Why would you have such cool graphics on the back of your monitor? But if you've ever watched eSports, you see the back of the monitor frequently. I mean, previously you would have your sponsors, I guess, but in this case, you have some of, some of your specs, performance specs, which could also be your sponsor. You get a much bigger Dragon, MSI Dragon on this one as well, which I just noticed. And beyond the ability to spin, there's also some cable management here. Obviously run your cables through the base and you have nice height adjustability. You can get this very low position. You have tilt in here as well. You can come all the way up to here and we get a nice portrait. Abilities. I mean, you can use it for productivity, obviously, and then the most obvious would be in some sort of a streaming environment where you might want to have your chat or whatever over here, and you want to have matching monitors, so you might have more than one of these. Every angle in between, and you can spin it the other way, and it has a stopping point. This stand setup is very configurable. I'm a big fan of this stand. This one, I think, will do tilt and up and down, and that's that. No fancy spin -a So yeah, Oculus versus Optics. Some benefits and drawbacks for each, obviously different price points. And then if you want something bigger, which you know some people are gonna want, if it's your only monitor, if you're also watching a lot of content on it, movies and things like that, you might wanna have a 27 inch monitor, which is what this one is. So you can see the difference there. It's also from the Optics line. This is the Mag 274 QRF dash QD. The more letters, the better. Performance goes up with the number of letters in the... Actually, no, the Oculus has less. Anyway, this one is 2560 by 1440, so you're getting more pixels as well, and that's something you'd expect uh, with more bigger screen size. 165 hertz refresh, one millisecond response, quantum dot, and gaming OSD app. So they're talking about the uh, on-screen menu system. Cable management is built in here. Same little joystick on the back. You can see the styling here. Very stealth fighter-like. Only 165 hertz on this model. I don't know how you're gonna survive. I'm joking. Tons of performance there still. And we have our tilt and we have our portrait. If it's all MLG all day, then you probably go for the one on the far left. If it's a, more of a mixture, 
uh, productivity and maybe content consumption. Maybe you go for a slightly bigger monitor if you have the space for it. You might go for this uh, 27 inch unit. We have DisplayPort, two HDMIs, that type C connector, which is also capable of uh, doing video. We have the upstream USB and two USB A ports. There are no ports on the side. So that's another interesting finding. On the bigger model, they don't bother putting the ports on the side, they put them on the back. And I'm kind of split on that because if you have the ports on the back, you can run the cable management with the remainder and it can be a kind of clean setup. These other two models with the ports on the side, that's really easy access. It's a lifestyle. USB port placement is a lifestyle. All right, so the one that I'm most curious about is this 360 hertz monitor. I'm not sure we've had one in studio previously. So we're gonna hook it up to this gaming PC right here and we're gonna experience what 360 hertz G-Sync looks like, feels like, does for us. Let's see what it does for us. Should I do an intro? <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy, uh, your boy. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rip some Apex Legends right now on this new monitor, on this new 360 G-Sync MSI professional 24 inch. It's gonna make me a pro gamer. I'm essentially gonna win this match right now. So let, let's let's get it ripping, let's go. The main feature of this monitor definitely is 360 Hertz. You're gonna get a refreshed screen 360 times per second. Everything is gonna be looking silky smooth. There's not gonna be much motion blur. It's gonna be really, really crisp and vivid and intense. It's gonna feel like real life. It's gonna feel like you're stepping in to real life, but you're already in real life. It's like a second layer of reality. That's how silky smooth it's gonna be at 360 hertz per second. Uh, the second key feature of this monitor is the NVIDIA G-Sync, which is hardware acceleration inside of the monitor that essentially syncs up the monitor's refresh rate with the frames that your GPU is pushing out. So you're gonna get way less tearing, which is when the first top half of the screen shows up rendered before the bottom half does. You're gonna get way less motion blur, and it's just gonna make sure that you're the GPU that's crushing these frames is gonna sync up perfectly with your monitor. NVIDIA G-Sync, no tearing, no fuss, no muss, pure immersion, and then one millisecond response time. This can get a little bit confusing with refresh rate. Refresh rate is gonna be refreshing the screen. The response time is going to be how quickly those pixels react to the refreshing screen. So the new screen gets refreshed and the pixel that's gonna change color to represent that refresh screen is gonna do it in one millisecond. So that's the optimal sweet spot. This monitor essentially just hits all the sweet spots. You have 360 hertz refresh rate, you have one millisecond response rate, you have NVIDIA G-Sync, and you have a 24 inch panel. The reason why a 24 inch monitor is perfect is because you don't have to move your head. All you have to do is move your eyes. Instead of covering this distance, all you have to do is cover this distance with your eyes, which means that your reaction time can be a lot faster. The real pro guys won't go above 24 inches. Then you got like, an extra bit of screen on either side and it's just way more head movement and then you're... You're not gonna win like that. You can't be tactical like that. You gotta use your eyeballs. See how fast I am? See how fast that is? I got you already. I got you. Way faster. All right, we're doing arenas because I don't got time for this looting. I need this straight action into my eyeballs through this monitor right away as fast as it can go. So we're doing arenas. Boom. Boom. So right now we're like 160, 170 FPS on this, and it's looking so silky smooth, it's ridiculous. I actually have an extra reticle on the monitor. It's an option you can put on. So I have a reticle on the reticle. Twice the aim, baby. Boom! Oh, he's not dead yet. That's smooth, baby. That's butter. I got really, it was a flawless round. It really amped me up. It's, I'm buying, it's a buy round. Look at the skin on the R99. Look at the skin on the R99. You like that. Oh, eat it. You got bamboozled. You both got bamboozled. Oh. <laughs> 
I bamboozled them both. You got bamboozled. Whoa. No, this is not looking good. Oh. I may have gotten overconfident last round with that great play. Five kills, one assist, five knots. That's that MVP level round right there. Bamboozling everyone. It's easy when the monitor is so silky and smooth and immersive like this, you get right in it. I, I have to say, the 24 inch is the perfect size. All right, so there you have it. The latest gaming masterpieces from MSI all the way up to 360 Hertz gaming with G-Sync. Uh, pick your poison, pick your, pick your favorite. Let me know in the comments, which one would you go for? Is it max refresh? Is it bigger screen size? Is it the convenience of USB type C? Let me know what matters most. Also, what do you think is the optimal monitor size for competitive gaming?